This is Twit. So I think that's what's so unique about this moment that we are in the industry, because as I said, it changes. It changes how we think about the devices, the OS and the apps, and how do you actually uh, define a user experience. And what's cool about having the ability to run AI pervasively and all the time on the device, because the device brings course, something which is very Google's unique. That's what Google's Tensor G3 does. Your PC, it's what Apple's your doing with its A17 chip. First, it's about you. So the experience is very personalized. It's about so the AI trying to predict up here. what you want uh, based on the knowledge that it has on your data. It has privacy. It's how you think about uh, having the data with you that you want it to be uh, within your device or if within your digital space. It's about immediacy. Everything on the device has to be fast because you need to have that instant response and the reliability. And I think that's a really exciting time. As you, know, as you saw some of those examples, and there are many more, and we're gonna show many more, but something as simple as texting with somebody, with the context that's available to you, you'll be able to, from that text, see what different apps or decisions that you're gonna make and how that system is always gonna be available to you all the time and that's gonna be how you're gonna think about the user experience. Even the phone call, having a phone call, as you saw, can be summarized and you take action from the phone call. It's gonna be about photography, it's gonna be about productivity, creation, and working across devices. So that's a very exciting time for the industry and maybe that's the next smartphone and the next PC that you want it's to buy. It's already in the Apple so, smartphone and the Google now, smartphone, but okay. What is, <laughs> like, what is the job that we have to do and we have been doing? In order to make that happen, you have to have the accelerated computing engines that are being designed uh, to run those models efficient on the device and run them all the time. So efficient AI model and this future of on-device AI requires a different kind of computing. And that's the computing uh, approach that we had always took with Snapdragon, a heterogeneous computing platform that you have the best engine for the best workload. It's our CPU, Orion. Believe me, I have a lot to tell you about Orion today. Uh, it's our GPU, Adreno, and our NPU, Neural Processing Unit, which is the hexagon. And here's how you should think about that, because our job is to make sure that your device, whether it is your next phone or your next AI PC, can have the ability to do this. So you should think about the CPU and GPU as general purpose computing devices. They are going to quickly run different models, different applications. And then the NPU, the role of the NPU is everything that you want it to run all the time. You want it to be running on the device and do it in a way that you have the performance for some of those use cases you've seen, but also without sacrificing your mobility and battery life. The good thing about a company like Qualcomm and the Snapdragon platform is no matter how much the technology evolve, the constraints about all day battery life, thermal, and form factor had never changed. And I think that's what the NPU can do, not only for- Most other Android manufacturers see, besides uh, Google are using Qualcomm phones, processors, including Samsung, which for years uh, used its, its own Exynos everywhere, but in the US, the S24, which comes out Q1 next year, will almost certainly so use this new that, Snapdragon processor. I want to processor. highlight some of the demos that we're gonna show you. Uh, a couple things that you'll be able to see when you go to our demo session, you're gonna see a seven billion parameter mo model using Llama 2 running an on-device voice assistant in real time. Now, the one, the one I really am, I wanted to uh, tell you about it is stable diffusion. Yeah, if you they, remember back in, back in 2023, first quarter, earlier first this quarter year we said, on the Gen 2. look at that. Yeah. We have one billion mo parameter model, stable diffusion, running on a smartphone, and it takes 15 yeah, seconds for you to provide a, a text on an Apple phone as well, to but create okay. an image. But we said, and consistent with, with the conversation I had with you today, those things are gonna be part of your everyday photography. You're gonna, you going, or everyday creation of images. You're gonna create images you're gonna share. So we're gonna show you 
that in our next uh, uh, flagship Snapdragon device, it's running at sub one second. Actually, 0 0.6 now that's fast. second to be precise. AI and lag is a big issue. That's what we mean issue. about having the performance to run those models on the device. We're also going to show another demo, which is how you expand the photo and have uh, a photo larger with uh, super resolution. Those are just some examples of many more. We have many more AI experiences to show you. They will touch many aspects of Gen AI, from text to speech to images to gaming, and all going to be running on device. And it's going to be your phone, your PC, your virtual reality device, and, uh, and in the future, also your car. And you can see there's a number of different things that we're going to show you. Uh, so stay tuned for even more uh, use cases and demos. What, how you should think about the evolution of this, uh, and what we're very proud today is because of this capability we have developed on the platform, which I think surprised everybody. Everybody's taking a picture of that of the screen. Processing <laughs> capability of accelerating computer on AI on device, but also how to do it in a very efficient way on power consumption. I, is that Snapdragon the is becoming the platform of cho choice for all of those models going is, on yeah. device. This is the list of some of the models that are now oh, natively running okay. on Snapdragon to enable developers to create those amazing experiences. You see multiple models now running from Microsoft. Uh, I have to say, this is AI. table stakes for a modern processor at this point. Leadership from Microsoft uh, Intel's in have been a little laggard, but they have an, a, a Meta, neural processing we have engine in their from new Android, uh, 14 models running, generation and processors. And a number of other models from many partners, including many models from Obviously, our partners Apple in China, does, Google does with the Tensor. Commercial devices with some of the new experiences very, very soon. What's most interesting is so getting these on PCs. This is a really exciting time for uh, the industry. It's an exciting time for the smartphone industry is exciting time for the mobile computing industry. And, and Snapdragon is really focused on making that a reality uh, for our partners and for our community. What we do is incredible on-device performance. They've done it's very well in the mobile market. It's about having best-in-class, heterogeneous computing capabilities. They're very well in the, it's the automotive the market. Took. They open, haven't been able to crack open the PC and market. Scalable AI software to build a horizontal ecosystem, then all of those models can coexist in a device and create new experiences across multiple ecosystems. And the ability to actually do that across devices in the cloud and do all of that without compromising your battery life. So, one thing is for me to tell you what we're doing at Snapdragon. But I think you should really hear from our partners and some of the incredible things we're doing together. I want to so hear what one Microsoft of the says. Amazing partners that we have is Meta. It's a very special partner ah, for Qualcomm. This is for the Quest. And the partnership has been always centered on the goal of new experiences. You see what we're doing together in the field of virtual reality. Uh, mixed reality, it's augmented funny they're reality, showing a phone. when we really look at the <laughs> really? future spatial computing platform. But it's also extending now, as you would expect, to Gen AI. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. 94% of CIOs and CISOs agree that attracting and retaining talent is increasingly critical. Invest in your workforce and keep their IT skills current with ACI Learning. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan after completing their form. Based on your team's size, you'll receive a properly quoted discount tailored to your needs.